Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to Recurts of Ruin. This is part three. Jumping straight in. You know the drill. Part three, Spires Ascending into Forgotten Forevers. Hello. What do you need? Maybe. I think I dreamt about you once. I... Let's do it. Oh, this is cool. I go in there. Okay, I can. Okay, eyeball. Weird. Sp Ooh, launch. Oh, it shoots me. Oh, nice. What's up here? Cool. Wow. That's so crazy. Shift it just to see what happens. Probably it's going to make me shift anyway. Yep. Up the ramp we go. Oh, wait. Oh. The visuals in this game are pretty cool. It's like simple but effective kind of, but also not simple. Fire me. Oh. Okay, so what, fire me. Oh. So fire me here. Uh, spooky. And laser the eyeball. And then what though? Oh, shoot me back. Hell yeah. And that opens this. We're getting it. Okay, so this wants me to shoot myself over there. Is it too far? Uh, can't shoot myself over there. Hold on. What is, do I just shoot this thing to see what it does? I'm just gonna test it. Oh, okay. It's like a rebound, double jump, double shoot. Shoot. Oh, big of Like, like bad ones, like bad consequences. Can you just tell me what they are? Maybe, maybe don't be cryptic. Okay, so that is just shooting me. Oh, can I position this? I can. So I think I wanna be up there. Ew. Nope. 
Where do I want to be? Let's try that. So close. I need to like hit that roof, but I it's a tight angle. Ooh, there's a hint. I can't. Oh. Gotta always check behind you. Whee! That's fun. Your eyeball man. Ooh. Back to the ramp. We're getting closer. We must be, right? I know I mentioned the music before, but it's a good mood. Bop. Okay, so there's a repositioner over here I'm getting. Okay, I don't think it's that. So is it that? And then I shoot. Uh, uh. Oh, I went through. So it's something like that. Oh, I thought I fell out of the world, but I just shifted. Calm down. Okay, so do I hit the white part? I don't know. Let's try the white part. Can't really see what that's going to hit. Oh, I'm just going to hit that. Oh, so I need to get through to that side. Okay, so do I need to shift? Or... Wait, are you just tricking me? Do I just need to go up here and that was useless? I'm overthinking it. Maybe. Or maybe it was obvious. Oh, there it is. Okay. And we go up the ramp. What? Am I supposed to use this? What's... Oh. Oh, can I... Must be able to, right? Of course. So it rebounds me and the lasers. Dual purpose. Yeah. 
I shoot through their tiny? Oh, wow. Oh. There's so many places I could go. So I want to go up, I assume, right? Oh, but what is up? Um, I'm not clear on the instructions here. I'm going to just shoot it at that. But I can't get up there, can I? Can I shrink once I'm in? No. Oh. Oh. Can I jump shrink? Okay. What am I missing? Oh, there's another... What happens if I shoot at that? Oh, that's the one. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. No. Oh, I thought I was just going to fall forever there. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. How do I get up there to change that? Close. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's like straight up not the answer, right? Okay, but we got close. Because I was able to... Oh. What's up here again? Uh, uh, what's up here? Uh, that's just the door. But what if... No. That must go to there, right? Because shifting doesn't help, does it? Does that do something? No, because then I can't shoot from here. Uh, okay. Let's try this one more time just so I can see where I end up. Or... Oops. I want to go back up here. What if I aim this? Uh, off to the side. Can I land there? And turn around. Pew! Okay, so I aim this to the laser, and then I drop down, and then I take this, 
And I go, boo. Wee. Woo. Oh, shh. So many things to keep track of. Okay. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make it. Nice. Not much left. So, I see a mini door. I see something to shoot myself. Should we start with that? screen on top of there is right okay so I'm going to shoot the laser at this right and this needs to go up there potentially but how is that going to come around I jump in here? Uh, no. Oh. Wait, did I do it? No. But like, close. What am I missing? I gotta get into this little door somehow. That's where I came from, right? Yes. The shifting, the shifting do anything. Not really. Oh, can I go in there now? No. Oh, man. I feel like it's lit up, though. Am I just hitting it like a perfect angle between... Oh. Get to it this way. I'm a little confused. shoot through anything. How do I... How did I... Oh, my brain. Oh. Hmm. 
What does it say? Then shift the world. Why though? Okay. Aha. Yeah, okay. I was so close. I had it right away and then I couldn't figure out the last bit. Very quiet. Shifting necessary. Yes. To get to that. Which is what? Uh-huh. Do I want to do that? Oh. Okay, so now shift. No. Wait, was that it? Did I just go backwards? Oh, yeah, I think I shot myself backwards. can't get up there. Okay. Okay. Think, 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 think. Okay. But if I do shift, that does do something. And the only thing I can do with this is shoot myself over there. So wait, why can't I do that? Wait, do I want to hit that thing? Let's die. Slowly. Okay. Let's shoot the redirector. Oh. Okay, now I can shift. I can shift again.
Wait, what? God damn it. It's cool. Okay, sorry if I'm not obliterating for announcing what I'm doing here. Hopefully it's straightforward. Oh. Very dark. That can't be good. Our friend is dying. I broke him. I am sprinting, by the way. It's just not very fast. Oh. Oh. Ew. Don't. Set you free? trust you at all. But what choice do I have? What? Once peaceful world of infinite happiness is shattered by the intrusion of a dark substance called Igor, can our heroine expel the scourge and restore the world of recursive ruin? Oh, it's a text adventure game. You are traveling down a dark road. Careful to check for any signs of roving nanopunks. Your stim packs are running low, but you should be able to manage. The compound unfolds infinitely before you. The inky sky is stabbed by small burning neon lights. Oh. Nikor has really done a number on this place. As you approach the entrance, you see a figure collapse into a burnt out hover bike. It's nanopunk. It's seemingly injured, holding their hand toward you. They're pleading for help. Do you offer the punk a stim pack? Demand who they are. Fire on his punk ass. Raise their head all the shadows. They see much less injured in this light. They say, we didn't know, man. We didn't know the Icar was supposed to overthrow their corporus overlords. But here we are. You hand over the stim packs. Pow! The punk shoots your ion cannon out of your hand. Reluctantly, you head all over all your stim packs. They retreat in the darkness, never taking their aim off of you as they slip away. Man, that's bullshit. An hour later, you find yourself standing at a precipice. 
With those impacts, you contemplate calling off the intrusion, but continue on, slipping over the edge, you land on the microcosm beneath you. The world expands and you are sitting in the compound's regeneration wing. GPS indicates the hostages in the cortex cages, just beyond the regeneration wing. Sitting before you is one of the powerful generators before the compound. Shutting it down would provide much needed cover, but might threaten the lives of the patients there. The Kill Cult Deathback race is playing on hollow screens. You grit your teeth as you remember the money you bet and lost on last month's race. Zurich the Grin will be grinning over you soon if you don't complete this mission. Shutting down the power generator would turn off the death, the damn Deathback race and save you so much new sanity, but at the same time, you think of all the nanopunk guards being distracted by it. There's also the other, their electricity bill to consider. Do you keep the generator on, inspect the room for a way to change the channel, turn it off. The hollow screen is blaring. And it's the quick fire round. Get your bets ready. Who will fall next? You hit the switch. Instantly, the combo is a dark and silent husk. You already feel more sane with the blight of the hollow screens gone. No need to think about the debts or the grin or net for now. Time to get moving. You hurry down several corridors, making sure to ignore the painful moans of death battles emanating from the rooms as you pass them. <laughs> a few less punks to worry about. You check the tracking device for the hostage locations. Wait, that's not right. The hostage has been moved since you last checked an hour ago. They're now in the hyper-intensive care unit several quarters back. Backtracking, you make your way to the hostage's new position. In the dark, you make out what must be the door of the hostage's room. You approach with weapon drawn and open it cautiously. Before you lies the hostage, severely injured and in now deactivated life support. Not like this, she's gurgling. It was almost the quick fire round. <laughs> the hostage dies. Fuck! You stand there stunned for a moment. Things are not going to plan. Recovering, you move to the hostage's head, frantically inspecting the back of their skull. A lucky break. They didn't find the sub-epidermal memory cartridge. Not the way I wanted to play this. You get to your work using your extraction kit in your belt. After some gruesome moments, you fully extract the disc from inside the skull. Liquid rid rhythmically ejects from the wound. There's still a chance. Jacking the cartridge in your headset, a flood of memories crash in your mind. You are staggered by sadness and suffered by hopes and dreams. Yes, I remember it all. The time just slipped over. The cool texture of the biotech deployment placed into my hands while my family looked on. The smiling sound of the voice informing me that I had been selected for my dream. My new husband's full of laughter. My child's first steps. The crashing bottles of pressure. My husband's husband. But this time, the sting is free. The sound of my head against the walls. And the look of my son's face. I can be on that bed. A shame we haven't touched it. Jack out, you break the disc. After taking a moment to collect yourself, you head towards central computing. By now the guards are on alert, but somehow you slip past undetected. Their optics must not be adjusted to these isolated frequencies. Standing in the mainframe and a chamber, you pause, momentarily ensure, then enter and jack in. Super user, CD user, uh, 
so going to the directory, password, electricity bill, recursive ruin, uh, sh, some sort of script, bone of truth. Do you? I don't necessarily understand what these mean. Finger hovering over the enter key, you hear the telltale click of an ion cannon cocked behind your head. Tiss tiss. Now you're going to ask what it is. Without turning your head, you ask the electricity bill. To which they replied, nice to see your Nero Ogs kept your wit intact. Not the damn bill, the shell script. Okay, so what is it? The secret to fighting back the Ikor. Now run it. Not quite comprehending, you do as instructed. A black screen with white text box top. It looks to be some kind of game. I don't understand. For with much wisdom comes much sorrow. The more knowledge, the more grief. Whoa. Yeah, I don't necessarily understand what happened, but that was cool. Looks like I freed him. Okay, back at home. A bunch more stuff to look at. Cool. I will pause there. So that was part three, um, more fun puzzles, some more story stuff. It's, they're very like, it's very technical and like big words and stuff, which is cool, but it's also kind of hard for me to grasp some of the concepts right away. I have to kind of think about them for a little bit, um, which is fine. And if you're playing through this by yourself, maybe you have that time to kind of sit and reflect, but I don't want to like make it dull. So yeah, that was part three. Um, I will be back hopefully soon for the next part. So don't forget to check back. Maybe even drop a subscribe or a like. That's the first time I've ever said those words. Uh, I haven't asked for that before, but uh, I guess that's playing the game, right? No pressure though. Um, I'm just doing this for fun. I don't need to be subscribed to. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.